really have red well, hair, but she likes to keep it red. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she loved to go to Cressus, and that evolved into to, uh, Kmart. And she never would go down and pay to have somebody color her hair. So sometimes it would be green, and sometimes it would be red. And sometimes it would be needing to be one or the other. And <laughs> Grandma was, was a key. She loved children. She loved to play with us. And she's a very intelligent woman, but she wasn't educated. She only went to about the eighth grade, and she had to work hard. And, and she, her whole life, you know, she'd work. If you had troubles, if you had problems, you just work your way out of them, you know. And you just put that out of your mind. She's a very strong person. Well, she loved music, and she never had any musical training. And she decided when she was 55 that all of us needed to have music lessons. So she... They had a cow herd, and she designated certain cows, and that was to be sold and put into the children's music fund. And so that went in there, and we all had music lessons, and Grandma took us, and she took lessons too. <laughs> and she never was very good. It was a little bit late for her, and I wasn't very good, but Grandma provided the basic music education, and all four of us kids could play, and three of us. You know, my sisters were better than I was. I'm not very good. But, but anyway, my brother, he never went on with it. And so, uh, Grandma, when she passed on, she had a little money she left to every one of those grandkids. And so, I wanted to use that some way to remember Grandma. And if you've ever been to our house, I found a piano rebuilder in Denver that had died and had all these pianos for sale. And they had this big old, great big grand piano. And nobody wanted it because it wouldn't fit in their house, you know. So I sat down and played it. Oh, I just love that piano because the grand piano, you know, has a rich bass and, and it's a concert grand. And so I offered them half what they asked for it and they took me up. And so that's Grandma's <laughs> memory to me, you know, is that piano that I have in our living room. And believe me, we had a bill on our house to have room for it because we couldn't watch TV with it in there. <laughs> but, uh, we appreciated Grandma, and one more thing about her, when she died, she had a stroke, she was 98 years old, and Grandma was active all the way up, right to the end, and she had congestive heart failure, she couldn't do it a lot, but she could do a little, and she could tell you what you were doing wrong right up till the last day, she, <laughs> you know, and so when she passed on with that stroke, we knew that, you know, she would be better off in glory land because she couldn't move around, and so we had a celebration. And you know how you go in the funeral home and you're sitting there and you're talking about all the details and everything? And Sherry had gone out and they had fixed Grandma up. But she'd been in the hospital about three days, three months, three weeks, you know, and her hair had gray roots. <laughs> and my sister said, Grandma would not like this. Said, and so she asked the mortician, could you, you know, uh, color your hair? You know? Oh, yeah, we do that all the time. But you just go out and get whatever it is that the color that you want. Sherry knew just what it was, so she, Lendl, that's her husband, go down and go down to Walmart, that's what she always bought, and go down and get this color and come back. So we were there, and he came back in, and he brought this back in and set it down, and she said, Lendl, did you get the color we wanted? Well, not really. It was Halloween, and they had a special on the orange, so I got <laughs> He didn't really. He got the one, and she <laughs> We laughed about that. Grandma would get a chuckle out of it. She'd have probably bought the orange. <laughs>